This is the second part in a series of videos showing you how to connect my memory LCD breakout board to a Raspberry Pi. In the first part of the video I showed you how to make the jumper wire connections between the Raspberry Pi and the breakout board. Here they are again on a diagram of the Raspberry Pi's headers if you haven't watched the first part of the video. The names of the Raspberry Pi's GPIO pins are on the top line and the names of the pins on the breakout board are below. You need to make those five data connections plus one for ground and one for power um, at a voltage that is appropriate for your particular model of memory LCD breakout board. Now I've logged into the Pi through SSH and we will begin to download my library for um, connecting the memory LCD to the Raspberry Pi and also another library that allows access to the GPIO and other I.O. functions of the uh, Broadcom uh, 2835 chip in C or C++. Right, first of all we're going to make a little directory to hold all the software we're going to download. I'll call it electronics and we're going to CD into that directory. Uh, if you haven't already installed it you'll need to install git with the command sudo aptitude install git and this will allow you to directly download my memory LCD library for Raspberry Pi direct from GitHub. Um, Git is already installed for me, so Aptitude had nothing to do. Uh, we're going to use the git clone command to download my uh, library now. And that will install my little library into a subfolder of our current folder that is electronics. <coughs> Now we're going to leave my library alone for a minute and download the other library we need, which is the C library for the Broadcom 2835 chip. We're going to use uh, wget to uh, download this. It's a targz file which we'll need to unzip. Oh. Hang on. There we go, it's downloading and installed, and we'll then unzip it with a tar zxvf command. Let's unzip, we're going to cd into the Broadcom directory. And we have to first of all configure it with, a, with the configure script that's uh, provided. and that'll go through and do its stuff and check whether you've got all the uh, software required for compilation. If any of it comes up showing you haven't got anything installed, uh, now is the time to install it using Aptitude. I've got everything ready, so next step is to run make. Which does its stuff, and then sudo make check. You have to run the next two commands using sudo. And all the checks were passed, so we're going to make install it now. And that's the Broadcom library installed to your Raspberry Pi. That's all the software installed, so we can now go into my library and compile the demo program. in the examples and demo subfolder. Once we're in there we can use the G++ compiler and compile my demo. Compiler throws out a few warnings but you shouldn't receive any errors if you've installed everything correctly so far. And now we'll link it. And if you go to run the list command ls, you should now see you have the demo file created, which you can then run with 
sudo dot slash demo. And if everything has worked correctly, you should then see the demo start to run on the Raspberry Pi. If I can move the camera, you may be able to see it now. And there you go. That is the demo program running on a memory LCD connected to a Raspberry Pi.